talk about it, man. Still, Bills, what's the deal, man? Yo, peep my fucking game, man. Um, I just went and did some film study on tonight's big matchup with Virgil Ortiz and Igas Cavaliasquez. That's going to be a good one. <laughs> the fuck is that? The fuck? Oh, it's that tree. That's going to be a good one. Man, 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 man. A breakdown of it, I would say. Um, As far as my breakdown, I mean, goes. Uh, Virgil Ortiz in his last fight against uh, Mo Hooker showed that he's pretty susceptible to the jab. He's pretty susceptible, very much so susceptible to the jab. And Cav that plays right into the favor of Cavaliasquez, man. Um, that might be his best punch is his jab. Oh, man. Oh, man. Fuck. Oh, man. The more I think about it, the more excited I get for the fight, man. But, yeah, that's going to be his. That's his, you know, I think that's uh, Cavaliasquez's best punch in his arsenal is his jab. Because it isn't like it's a it's a... It's a snap. It's a it's a it's a flashy jab. No, it's 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 accurate. It always lands on the sweet spot and it's thudding. Like even I was watching his last fight with Zuski and them niggas looked like fucking junior middleweights in there that night, man. He has he clearly has the size advantage in this fight, man, and the brawn and you know just strength. I just I think he's the bigger fighter. I think Cavaliasquez can fight at junior middleweight. I I, I do. I do. He, that dude is brolic in that ring. But um, one thing I did see about Cavaliasquez is he's not really the fastest on his feet. He's not really the fastest on his feet, and he doesn't have really the um. He doesn't really have the upper body movement. He can get out of you know he can get out of the way of a single shot, man. But when combinations start getting put together, you kind of start to see him get a little. A little fluster, you dig? He's not a dude who can punch in between punches and 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 and, and counter you when it's about you know what I'm saying when his combinations are being thrown at him. So that you know, I mean, man, if you can get off first, that can kind of put him in a position where he's he's kind of like vulnerable. But um, oh man, um, the oh oh, I I just I can't wait for the fight, man. I noticed um. One thing I did notice about the, like their counter punching, man. Um, Kaliaskis is actually a really good counter puncher, but a whole lot better than I think he's giving credit for, it, man. I think uh, one thing I did notice about him, he um, he fake like when he goes to counter, when he starts to counter, he favors left hand counters. Left hand counters. It's never like the you know the, the you know the the step back straight or nothing like that. It's, it's 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 usually you know he'll slip the jab to the inside and. The, and he'll somehow find a way to load up with a left hook. You know, he'll slip to the inside, then come back with the left hook. That's where his, even though the knockout really started for his last fight with the right uppercut, a right uppercut counter, he called dude lunging in and he, you know what I'm saying? Caught him dipping and he launched the right uppercut. For the most part, I saw was he was favoring the counters with his left hand. And I think that was pretty visible. Like I didn't see too many right. I didn't even. I didn't really see a lot of right hands even off of the jab. I just saw the jab. I saw the jab. You know what I'm saying? Piercing dude's guard. Pier, you know, popping his head back. And I saw the counters. You, you know, he favors counter punching with his left hand. I saw that. And with Virgil Ortiz, I see just the flashy hand speed. The jab is there, but he works a hell of a lot better off of the jab. I think. I just think he has a better. Virgil Ortiz has a better boxing base than, not even a base, because I think they're both fundamentally sound, but I think he has more of the, he has more in his arsenal, he has more of the flair and the pizzazz. Virgil Ortiz, he has the faster hand speed and clearly the faster feet, the better combination puncher. And he can pop. That dude can pop, man. Um, I, was, I went back and I watched him and Maurice Hooker's fight and um, he didn't land, he didn't even land the body shot to the degree at which he wanted it to. He landed it just it was like a glancing blow, and that shit 
or you know, Hooker was like, I can't breathe, coach. I can I couldn't breathe. And then he went in there and <laughs> dislocated dude's arm. So this kid, is, I think this kid is the goods, man. But this is a legitimate test in front of him, man. Um, I think it's gonna, end, I think it's gonna be a firefight, and I think we, I don't think we're gonna see that level of. Um, I don't think we. I think we're gonna get the same amount of. Cause I, 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 I don't know. I think it's weird, dude. You know what I'm saying? What a cat like Cavaliask is, man. He's gonna. I don't know, man. Um, it's kind of like how we when he fought with Bud, how patient he was. Just his patience is, you know, because he knew what was in front of him. With him, I don't think he's. You know, he was like, I'm about to, I'm about to go in here and do what it is that I'm supposed to do against um, Zuski. I'm about to go in here and do what I'm supposed to do, and he went in there and he did it. And, you know, he came out the gate. He came out the gate kind of aggressive, and you know what I'm saying, really stepping to him. I think with Virgil Ortiz, it's an imminent threat. So I think he'll be a lot more judicious in you dig his um his punch output. And you know, Virgil Ortiz is a good counter puncher himself. So I don't I don't think he's gonna want to commit you know commit overly you know overly commit early on and open up counter opportunities for Virgil Ortiz. I think he's gonna, you know, work behind the jab, but I think it's gonna be really hard to time his jab out the gate because he's not gonna be pumping it as much as he did when he did with uh, with Zuski. You dig? And I think Virgil Ortiz is gonna be coming out too, because I mean, you know, despite Virgil Ortiz getting the stoppage, it was a lot of criticism thrown his way because of how susceptible he looked to the jab and how, you know, how blemished his face was off of the fight. So I think he's gonna be coming out to make a statement in this fight. He's gonna come out and make a say. He's gonna. I think he's gonna come out with his foot full throttle on the gas. He's gonna come out full throttle on the gas, and I think he's gonna be open to getting countered. He's gonna be open to that left hand counter. He's gonna be open to that left hand counter by um, Cavaliasquez. It's a damn good fight, and I can't wait, man. But um. I do think uh, Virgil Ortiz will take this fight, man. I think um, eventually he's gonna. Um, I think mainly what Ortiz has to do, he has to cut that. He has to cut that angle to his left, and to Cavaliasquez's right to get him up out of the way of that left hand. Because as devilish as that right hand is, is gonna be the left hand that uh, you know the the left hand counters that Cavaliasquez is going to be looking for. It's going to be that, and. Um, He's going to need to do that, I think, to be victorious in this fight. Cut that angle to his left, to Cavalier, you know, to, 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 to Ortiz's left and Cavaliasquez's right to get up out of the way of that left hand and go to work. And I'm talking mid-ring, you know, just cut angles and cut angles and cut angles and cut angles until you back him up on the rope. Because I don't think this is a dude you can afford to sit there and bang in the pocket with. Not this guy. I think you're gonna have to use your entire skill set in order to get this dude about the paint because this is this is a legitimate threat right here. This is a fight that Virgil Ortiz can very much so lose. This is a fight that he can damn sure lose. I think. Damn man, I really I've got a little bush stuck up under my car, man. That shit is annoying. But um, yeah, man. Um, I did. I, I started. You know, the thing is with Ortiz, though. You did. Once you start touching him with that jab, he can get a little flustered and start to overshoot on shots, trying to overcommit and lunge in, and it opens him up. He did that more. He did that in the third and the fourth round against Maurice Hooker when Maurice Hooker really got when he started establishing the jab. You know, when he started uh pumping the jab more and having more success with the jab. You started that. You started to visibly see. Oh man, yo, the jab is bothering him. And you started to see the level of aggravation from Virgil Ortiz, and it caused him to get countered and clipped a couple of times on the entrance. You know, just him overshooting on the shot and lunging in, and he got bat bat. He got caught. He dig the jab, opened him up to a lot of scoring opportunities, man. And I think when you got a bigger dude like a Cavaliasquez standing in front of you, you can't afford to get countered that effectively. Uh, I mean, just... To, I, 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 Cavaliasquez's jab, from the looks of it, it looks like a fucking power punch, man. Like, this dude is... This dude is the goods. I, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Like, I'm I'm pretty high up on him, man. Um, I'm pretty high up on him. I gotta go watch this fight with him and Sugar Ray Robinson. 
but off of what I saw, I'll, this is a legitimate threat. I, I'm like, I feel like this is a 50-50 fight. This is a 50. I feel like it's a 50-50 fight. It's that close because just going off of their last two performances, man, and what I saw from Virgil Ortiz. Now, granted, Cavaliasquez doesn't have the other uh, the the length and reach of a Maurice Hooker. You know, we can't disregard that. You know, Mo Hooker has the fucking reach of a fucking light heavyweight. 80 inch arm reach and shit. And you only 5 foot 9, 5 foot 10. That shit is kind of ridiculous. That shit is ridiculous. But he does, I think we're, you know, Virgil Ortiz, uh, not Virgil Ortiz, Maurice Hooker has the length, yeah, to bother him. But um, I think um, Cavaliasquez has the power. To gain Ortiz's respect, I think what Hooker it was the it was the length that he was like I got to find a way to around to get around his length. I got to get his timing and when he act, you know what I'm saying. Just, I, I, just, I have to get his timing down on when he throws his punch. I have to get his his patterns down on how he throws the punches, how many times he's gonna pump the jab. I have to get I, I have to get the timing down. I think it was more so of that than the actual impact of the jab. Even though it did look like it, the impact on the jab was a lot more vicious because of. You know the blemishes on his face. I think with Cavaliasquez is going to be the you know the stopping power of the jab. Going to be the, the stopping power of the jab that's going to gain and garner the respect of Virgil Ortiz. And I think um, he's going to have. I don't. I don't. He's not going to be able to go at Cavaliasquez straight off of the line. Just straight. He, he's not just going to be able to come straight down the line on the Cavaliasquez man. He's going to have to use every facet in his toolbox in order to beat this dude because this is a legitimate threat and it was just those little bitty holes in um, Virgil Ortiz's game that could uh, really lead to his detriment and that jab being as susceptible as him being as susceptible to the jab as he was against Maurice Hooker yikes that's what has me like man and I'm like I, I just refuse. I don't. I, I just really feel like Cavaliasquez is going to come out there as patient as, as he was with Terrence Crawford. I do. I really think he's going to exercise that amount of patience in this fight. And it, I don't think it's going to fluster Ortiz, but I do think you, he's like, all right, cool. You sitting here? I'm gonna just tee off on you, and it's going to open up countering opportunities for him, or. Um, for uh, for for Cavaliasquez and he's gonna get punished for it somewhat. I could even see him hitting the canvas. I can see that. I can see that. I you know I think it's gonna be a day. I think this is a legitimate threat for Virgil Ortiz, man. But I do think he's gonna get him out of there. I do think that. I think with the punching power and the punching play, and he's really compact on his punches, man. Um, the kid just. I don't know, man. He gets really good leverage on his shots, man. The body shots. And even when he's, you know, at mid-distance throwing hooks to the body, it's real, real potent leverage on the body shots. It's real potent leverage on the hooks, even at mid-distance. And it's hurting. It's hurting him. And Cavaliasquez is a beast to the body as well, man. You see, oh, my God. I just think um, once he gets Cavaliasquez's timing down, he's going to start outspeeding him. Late in the fight, I think uh, mid rounds, about mid, you know, the mid late, the late mid rounds, I think he's going to begin to outspeed him and really start to use his footwork and get the better of Cavaliasquez and impose his will on him, man. But that's just my personal opinion, man. Um, but I'm still not even so sure of it because Cav I think Cavaliasquez is a thorough fighter, and I think he's a legitimate threat to Virgil Ortiz and disrupting the momentum of this kid and even possibly breaking that. I can even say, it. you know, Virgil Ortiz can go 17-0 and 0 with 16 knockouts. Like, his knockout streak could end tonight. His knockout streak could end tonight. And I, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. Um, I just, I can't wait for the fight, man. I, you know, this is the only fight that I'm really overly excited for today that I want to see. I know it's some big fights coming on, um, but this one right here really has me intrigued. This one right here really has me intrigued because we're really going to see, we're going to get a serious gauge of Virgil Ortiz after tonight. 
a serious gauge. Like, how big of a threat is this dude in the division? Especially for him to be calling out Bud. How serious is this kid? And I think this kid is serious. I think he's real serious, man. But yeah, that's how I'm feeling about it, man. That's where I think that's how I think the fight's gonna go, man. Um, like and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think, man. Peace.